Boom. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in to Young Money Investments. My name is Cameron Benyon, and today we have finally, finally, finally another stock video. For most of you that are following my channel, you probably know I have been really bad um, about putting out new content as of the past couple weeks. Um, I went on like this crazy bender where I made like several, several videos on a Sunday and then I like released them as time went on. Um, but doing like a consistent video where I either filmed it that day or filmed it the day before, or, like the night before, um, I've been really slacking and that is about to change. I'm finally here in my new casa. Um, this is my home in Idaho, or sorry, in Utah. Um, not my other home, not the home in Idaho. Um, this is my home in Utah. So this is uh, super exciting. Um, I am here actually with the great Rhett Van Leeuwen. Um, any of you that follow like day traders or anything like that probably know Rhett's story. I know I did a short little video on Rhett um, a while back in my channel, um, but he's going to be on here. This is kind of our little trading station setup. Mostly this is used for Fortnite. This is mostly used for trading and scanners, um, but I want to go over a couple positions. The reason why I really wanted to film this, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that today was a really big day trading for me. Um, I'm on the fence about if I talk about the profit on it um, or if I should post it. I'm kind of thinking I should. I think I probably should say something. So the total that I made on Tesla today was somewhere in the ballpark of about $15,000. So this was a big, big, big trade. And that's over a course of a few different accounts. Um, the one main account I made like $10,505 and like 40 some cents. Um, another one I made, I think like 3,400. Um, and then I had another one that I made some more in. So I had a very large position in Tesla. I don't always recommend putting that much money in it, but I had so much faith in it that uh, it was just kind of a really simple buy. And so I want to go over my thought process, what was in my mind, what made me do it. Um, and hopefully so you can continue to replicate that. I want to go over two more stocks as well um, and talk about the value and the potential that I see in them. As always, don't do a trade. Don't take my instructions or my, my thought process as trade instructions. Think of this as learning material, things that will help you so that you can be better in charting and doing all that kind of analysis and all that good stuff. So let's jump into it right now. So we're going to get into, I think that's everything, right? I I think, I think. Um, we're going to jump into the chart pattern and everything here real quick. Um, we'll pull this up. Okay, what is that, what is the, there we go, okay, that was another video I tried to film earlier that uh, will not make it to the screen, so um, here we go, we're going to pull up the chart pattern for EA Sports, so you get a little sneak peek at what I am going to do here later, but we're going to go to Tesla for those that just want to tune in for my little Tesla update. So um, today for Tesla, what we did is you'll notice that there has been a consistent, very strong support, um, basically right here around 278, 279, right? Um, what happened was, and you will see probably another pullback. I think tomorrow I probably should have sold out um, because you are going to see this massive increase and then you're probably going to see it sell off a little bit down into this 279 mark um, where I will buy more shares. Um, if it hasn't dropped too much, I might take a little bit of a sell off, try and keep a couple percentage, you know, keep a cup, keep a little bit more percent and then ride it up. Um, I see Tesla as a really good buy because what happened was Elon Musk basically um, smoked a joint, a blunt. I don't even know what you call it because it was like laced with tobacco. I've never smoked one. So I don't know. But uh, he was on the Joe Rogan show. Joe Rogan was basically tempting him saying, hey, if you're, you know, if you smoke this, you know, what would your shareholders do? Or can you even do that because of your shareholders? So he took it. He didn't even inhale it. He just kind of like held it in his mouth and then blew it out. Um, it was all legal. It's in California. So there's no like illegal activity. Elon Musk is a visionary. And I think the thing is, is he's doing all these crazy things that we're going to eventually get to the point where people are just going to say it's Elon being Elon. The only other guy that does that is Donald Trump. Trump is at the point now where, you know, Trump did this or Trump did that. You know, he is the only guy in, in America that can say, you know, oh, you know, I, I messed with Stormy Daniels. I know he didn't actually say that, but, you know, they can have like porn star allegations and like all these like crazy things. 
But at the end of the day, he probably is going to get elected next next uh, term. But we'll see. We'll see about that. But the thing is with Elon Musk, it, it, the stock sold off hard. The stock really sold off hard. And so if you look at this right here, you see this massive sell-off. Well, what did I do is I dip, bought, 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 and bought the heck out of this. And so um, basically I bought a ton. I mean, I bought a lot right down in here at the 260 mark. I even remember buying some at 259 um, and then rode this this up. Um, and so Tesla, like I said, long term, I think, or even over the next, you know, coming weeks, I think we should be able to see it continuing to come up. The overall, you know, financials and everything do not change just because Elon smoked a joint. It, it doesn't. Honestly, tomorrow I might be looking at doing a short position on Tesla because it probably will pull back, shorting it down and then buying it and riding it long. So that's kind of my plan with Tesla. Um, like I said, this was a very massive gain. It, it took six figures in order to make that 15,000 in it, but uh, very worthwhile, very lucrative. And uh, yeah, I, it was just a good, it was a good freaking trade. So um, Tesla is one that I do still see, like I said, continuing to be able to ride this up, even if you bought in right here um, and were able to ride it up to resistance or support, you're still looking at a nice seven, seven plus percent return on your on your investment here. So um, I like Tesla, like I said, if you're if you're looking for a nice little long term uh, or even like a shorter swing trade, you know, I think over the next month or so you could easily see that return. So if you're looking for low risk, uh, I hate to say low risk because Tesla is not a low risk company if you look at this, but uh, it definitely to me has a lot of potential um, in the in the future, I think right now, the, the upcoming or near future. So Tesla is one that I like. I'm also going to talk about a company called JD. Now this one's a little bit harder and I wouldn't recommend this for any beginning traders because of the nasty, nasty chart pattern. Um, if you look at this, this just continues to sell off. The recent sell off that we're seeing right here on JD is because because of a sexual assault allegation, if I'm not mistaken, um, the CEO of JD, JD is a Chinese-based company, um, and he is, if, again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, is the richest billionaire in China. Um, and so he is currently now back in China. He's been released and everything, but this tanked the stock. If you look at this, the stock just tanked on that news. Again, I love buying these companies when they sell off on things that are not related to the company's financials. Is there any purpose with that? No, there's not. It doesn't, it, it doesn't affect the company at all. Um, most likely it was, it's going to be something that's not a big deal and it's not going to affect the company. The sad, unfortunate, a truth of these things is whether he did it or whether he didn't do it, really, is he going to serve jail time? Most likely not. And that's the sad part. Um, I don't want to really get into all that kind of, you know, sexual assault and all that, like whatever, whatever it was. I don't even know, honestly and truly. I want to stick to the financials and the fundamentals of this. So if you look at this right here, you're going to see a double, you're going to see a double bottom. Usually what happens is you see that reversal, it's finding support right here and it's going to uptrend. Right now I'm averaged in at a, at a cost of about 2630. Um, I'm looking to basically ride that in from 2630 um, and potentially make a nice little two to three, basically three, well, I guess that's three to three to 4% return on it. Um, and then I'm going to get out. So I like where you can potentially buy in this right now. I'm looking for about a three to 4% return on it. The downside, this, you can go all the way back on the chart on JD back to the three year, one week chart. So the candlesticks are one week. Um, and you can find support down here. Now, as you can see on this three year chart, there is a lot of support kind of through here. Um, and that's where I could potentially see it continuing to, to fail to reverse and drop down to, um, anywhere in that price point, I would still see JD as a good little, a good little buying opportunity. Um, basically what I plan to do is continue to, uh, to hold. If it does break through here, I'm going to double my position. I don't currently have a large position in JD, um, but I will continue to buy through and down into here. So 
I have a potential for loss of about 2.5%, 2. let's call it 3%, um, but that's why I'm half of my position in. I'm one foot in, one foot out. If I make a quick 3 4% on it, great. I just take my money and I run. If I do see it end up dropping down lower, I'm going to double down on my position, and then I will ride it up you know, and potentially have half of my position give me an 8% return. The other half of my position, I get a, well only 4%. I just got to write it a little bit longer. Man, it's getting late. Um, but that's what I see in JD. I do see a great little buying opportunity. I like the chart pattern. RSI is still very low at about a 31 right now. Great little buying opportunity. The third company that I'm going to talk about is good old EA or Electronic Arts. Now, Electronic Arts has been hit really bad. If anyone follows um, the news, you're going to know that there was unfortunately a big shooting um, in Florida a couple weeks back. Now, because of that, the stock had a very large sell-off. Now, I was in the company right in here, um, and I've since actually doubled down after this massive dip. I'm down in the position. I mean, full disclosure, I am down in this position, um, but I've continued to buy right in this range here. Um, I can see as a, I'm going to hold this as a long-term position. I see this being several months in the making and needing to hold this. Um, right now, it sold off from from its highs at 151 down to where it's at, where it was at before the shooting. Um, and the reason for that was because Battlefield has not had as many pre-orders as Call of Duty, which is an Activision game. Um, I don't play video games, but um, from what I know, Electronic Arts is a great company. Madden, some of their major sports titles are going to be coming out. Um, they're going to be doing great. I, I don't see any real fundamental issues with EA Sports. Electronic games and you know electronic sports are just getting bigger and bigger. Um, I think this is a great long-term buying opportunity. Um, and so I, I think there's a lot of profit to be made in this. So um, if you're looking for a short-term play, you know, buying somewhere in here, you have about an upside potential of about 3.5%. Um, your downside is about 2.3%. So it's not a great short-term play, um, but I do, like I said, I, I see this having a large, if you're looking for a long-term play, I see it being able to ride up, you know, easily into this range where you're looking at about 11.63% return. And if you ride it all the way up to where it was previously, you know, you're looking at a 20 to 30% return, which is massive, or easily 30% return. So um, that's my thoughts. Those are kind of my philosophies right now with those three companies. Um, I can't think of anything else that I specifically wanted to go over on the charts. Mainly, like I said, Tesla was one that I wanted to go over. I see Tesla being great money. Um, Tesla and EA, you know, like I said, Tesla's kind of the middle, you know, it could be a short term upside. EA, EA is going to be more of my long term. And then, like I said, um, JD is kind of that short term, you know, I'm just kind of playing a quick dip by taking it for a few percents. Um, first a few dollars and then selling it out. So that's kind of my plays of the, the week. That's kind of my plays for kind of the future. I am going to get more of these videos put out for y'all. Um, I'm going to be better about that. And I'm really excited that we're going to have Rhett here on the channel as well to kind of go over shorts um, and kind of go over his perspective because he's he's good. He's good at what he does. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to do all this stuff. Oh, and it just feels good to... Uh, to be getting all these videos done again. So thanks so much for tuning in to Young Money Investments. Have a great day, everybody, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.